nursery. And Sarah and I are gonna do a, what did we call it? Rapid fire fireside chat. So um, get to know Sarah a little bit. She's been, I know a lot of you know her, so an opportunity to get to know Sarah and the Santa Cruz Tech Beat. And I'm gonna actually read this because it, it hasn't been seared in my brain quite yet. Santa Cruz Tech Beat is an online news publication covering technology in the Monterey Bay Air, Monterey Bay region. Santa Cruz Tech Beat features news, events, jobs, resources, and a business catalog. Learn more and subscribe for free to the Weekly Digest. But you forgot the URL. Oh, the URL is on the next page. Oh. I did not. Okay. I subscribe for free to the Weekly Digest, Santa Cruz techbeat.com. Hi, Sarah. Hi, Amanda. Thank you so much for being here with us today. It's my pleasure. And you're wearing your matching colors with your logo. That's right. So, That's a strategy. Right, right. Branding, branding, branding. And Amanda notices. <laughs> right. Well, it's a great color, so that's why I know. So, why don't we find out who reads TechBeat? Who here reads TechBeat? Yeah. Right. Yes, I love this. Did you know that you can subscribe to TechBeat for free? So, some people like to get an email each week. Others prefer to find it on the website, others prefer social media, Facebook, Twitter, and LinkedIn. But you make it so easy for them that you will deliver it personalized to their inbox. Every Tuesday morning at 4.25. Oh, we're gonna, we're gonna, <laughs> 4.25 on the nose. So tell us a little bit, um, Sarah, what's your background in launching TechBeat, and really what makes you so suited to do the work that you do? Well, I'll tell you why I'm not suited. I'm not a journalist, and journalism is not my background at all. My background is tech. I have a computer science degree from UC Santa Cruz, and I see all sorts of UC Santa Cruz people in the back. Um, and after that, I worked in software companies for about 20 years, three, four of them over the hill at Hewlett Packard, HP, 13 of them here in Santa Cruz at Santa Cruz Operation, which isn't here anymore, SEO, but once a big employer here. And then after that, I started consulting because I didn't want to drive over the hill. So um, that's my background, not, a, not journalism. I, right, and you, <laughs> it's and, an accidental thing. And the thing that you say that sort of cracks me up is you say tech people say that you're not a tech geek, but non-tech people think that you are a tech geek. So you're able to kind of play both sides of the table. Right, for most of my career, except for years when I was a programmer, I have been the bridge between tech and non-tech. And so I was telling Amanda, yeah, geeks think I'm not technical, but tech non-technical people think <laughs> I'm really technical. So I've, I've just been a bridge in my whole professional career. So TechBeat started five years ago, and you started chronicling tech and what some people might have considered to be, you know, the new wave of tech in Santa Cruz. Tech has arrived in Santa Cruz, but that wasn't really the case. It's actually people come up to me, oh, tech is new. Look at all the new stuff that's happening. It's it's really not true. Tech's been here for a long time in Santa Cruz. It's just different than what it used to be. And actually, if you go back a few years. Good Times had a 40th anniversary issue and I wrote an essay about what it was like in the old days in Santa Cruz Tech. So if you want, you can go to the About page of Santa Cruz Tech Beat and read that article. And but, if it's the one I'm thinking of, there's a truly excellent photo on, uh, there of a, a snapshot from... Oh, from Santa Cruz Operation for yeah, Engineering the Services. the 80s. The hair yeah, is 80s. very indicative of 80s, so that's, that's also a bonus part of that. <laughs> <Right>. <laughs> so you've been around for five years, and you started off with you know, giving news about tech, but what has developed? How has tech been changed? What are, what are some of the things that um, you've added on as, as you've developed? Well, the first thing I focused on was news, and I wanted to just build integrity and reliability and that's what I did. And then after that I said, well, I have to make some money. So I had to start <laughs> soliciting partnerships and sponsorships. And after that, I was encouraged to um, expand to Monterey and San Benito counties. Mm -hmm. So TechBeat now covers three counties and has for several years. But Santa Cruz is still where most of the action is, honestly. Yeah, it is. Woo woo. I'll take that. Oh, and, and the one thing that I've expanded to 
is that I found that readers were interested in events and jobs. And so, how many people here have looked at Santa Cruz Tech Beat's jobs page, ever? Okay, that's nice to see. So, even though the original idea was news, really the most popular page on the website is the jobs page. Because news comes and goes, but jobs, everyone seems to be looking for jobs or curious what's going on or wants to post their jobs. So going back to the, the original idea, how, where did you get the original idea? I mean, how did TechBeat start? Well, it started in Margaret Rosas's car <laughs> on Walnut Street. <laughs> And Margaret, who you, you may know, is a visionary for this, the original, uh, well, the 10 year ago ecosystem in Santa Cruz. And she now look, works at Looker, so people over here know Margaret. And she just said, we, we really need something like this. And I, I said, well, hmm, I wonder if I, I think I could do something like this. But it wasn't a grand idea, it was just, oh, just something small, just, do this little thing. <laughs> this little side thing. Right. right, and then I talked to then Mayor Hillary Bryant, and my focus at the time was that the, or what was going on at the time is that the city leaders didn't really know what was going on in the tech community. They were busy people who knew that this thing next space was happening down on Cooper Street, but they didn't really know about the startups. And so when I talked to Hillary, I said, you know, there's all this stuff going on, would you be interested in a weekly email? And she was so excited. Yes, that would help me do my job. Just, that would make my job a lot easier. So the focus of TechBeat isn't just for the tech people. It's actually for the city leaders, educators, and the other industries that surround the tech community. And for all of you. And for all of you. <laughs> So and it's a great place for students who are looking for jobs and want to know what's going on, too. Yeah, absolutely. It's an amazing resource for people at any level of their careers are looking to enter the tech world. So what is it that you find most satisfying about what you do? I mean, I'm sure there's a grind and there's a deadline and you got to get it out by Tuesday at 425. But what is it that really kind of keeps you going and, and you really love? Well, I really love a couple things that are just like gratifying to hear when somebody got their job from tech beat, from reading tech beat. I love that. I don't always hear about it, but I love it. I also love breaking stories of new startups because it's an opportunity for me to bring some startup out of stealth and to share their story and sometimes that can lead to it's a validation for them. So it leads them when they're talking to someone about funding, they can say, well, you, they write a letter to some angel and they can say, well, you can learn more about us. Here's a link to this article. So I, I love that opportunity of bringing stories out of stealth and um, sharing, or even not stealth, but just sharing a startup's first article in Santa Cruz. And not even just startups, but you've just been the first person in the know of a lot of different stories. For example, I learned that Amazon was coming to town from TechBeat. What's another example of a story that TechBeat had first? When Bud Colligan started Central Coast Angels, he allowed me to break that story, so I was very pleased. And, and you just seem to know all the right people, which is a, a beautiful thing. So we're coming to the end of our time, and I, I know that you've had an opportunity on occasion if there is a, a young person that's interested in writing for TechBeat that you will um, you will, you know, mentor them and help them along. But for everyone out there, I mean, you have such great knowledge and, and you've mentored um, specific individuals in the past. What's some of the recommendations you might have for people who are out there looking for a job um, and you know, here networking and, and trying to kind of get their foot in the door. What's some of the recommendations that you might have? Well, go to events such as this and network and really prepare and show up. And I don't mean just physically show up, but volunteer for or do more than the minimum because everyone is trying to get noticed. So do your homework, um, get engaged, go to mixer type events. I would also recommend for people that aren't used, maybe younger people that are just graduating, have somebody review your work before you send out your email or your resume. Take advantage of the resources at UC Santa Cruz. I know I did when I was a student there and it really helped. 
And so we're coming to the end of our time. Do you have any big thank yous that you'd like to uh, send out? And then I need your help with the raffle. Oh yeah. Well, I, first of all, I want to thank all the partners. That's amazing that a lot of companies, many of whom are sitting in the room, like Looker, Inboard, Plantronics, um, Bowie, I can't remember who else, is, UCSC, have partnered, and I really appreciate that partnership. I also want to thank the three people who have liked, who have been the best likers on Facebook, and that's Margie Erickson, who's in the back. Yay, Margie! And Rose Filicetti and Craig Vachon. They are the three people who seem to follow me, follow TechBeat on Facebook, and it's just really fun that somebody's liking the articles. <laughs> Absolutely. And so Sarah's going to help you with a little bit of a raffle. Plantronics was nice enough to donate a headset. Yes, you're looking at me like, uh oh. <laughs> All right, so we're still on. So the question is, we're still. <laughs> I'm promising you headphones.